In this video, we will show you how to replace the pump seal and motor and conduct a field inspection on an Elastec E150 submersible pump. Here are the tools you will need. A screwdriver, hammer, half inch wrench, 9 16 inch wrench, quarter inch Allen wrench, a 3 8 by 4 inch bolt, sockets, an oil seal, and a marker. Start by drawing a line across the pump adapter and the volute. This will help with alignment when we reassemble the pump. Using your half inch wrench, remove the four 5 16 by 3 quarter inch bolts from the pump adapter and separate from the volute. Check for debris in the volute and clean appropriately. If wear is excessive, replacement may be necessary. Using your screwdriver to stabilize the impeller, remove the socket head cap screw from the motor shaft using your Allen wrench. Install the 3 8 by 4 inch bolt into the impeller until it hits the shaft, then turn until the impeller is removed. Inspect the impeller and shaft key for damage and ensure all parts are clean, then set aside. Using the half inch wrench, remove the two 5 16 by 1 inch bolts from the handle and the two 5 16 by 3 quarter inch bolts from the motor side. Remove the handle and lift the motor from the plate. Remove and inspect the O-ring and then set to the side. Using a hammer and socket, drive out the seal. Install the new seal and make sure it is seated in the bottom of the pump adapter plate. When all parts are cleaned, you can reassemble the pump. Place the O-ring into its bed and attach the motor with the two 5 16 by 3 quarter inch bolts. Attach the handle with the two 5 16 by 1 inch bolts.
Place the key back into the shaft and install the impeller. Stabilize the impeller and secure with the socket head cap screw. Connect the pump adapter with the volute and align the marks we had previously drawn. Install the four bolts and tighten with your wrench. We've now completed a seal and motor replacement and field inspection of an Elastec E150 submersible pump.